In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a really cool trick for working with layered Photoshop files in Cinema 4D. And this is so useful creating materials because it allows you to create multi layered Photoshop files and keep all of your channel information, um, like maybe you've got a color channel, bump channel, spec channel, and you've got them all in the same Photoshop file, which from an organizational point of view is really handy. And also when you're making them, it's really good because maybe you want to paint across like multiple layers and by keeping them all in the same file you can be like sure that everything lines up etc correctly so to follow along just open up this really simple scene that i've got here it's called um, weight loss for c4d layered psd 01 and you can see i've just got a cube with a sky with just an hdr on there for a reflection and we've got a cube here and what we're going to do is we're going to create um, a couple of materials all from one photoshop file i'm just going to jump into photoshop now um, and there we go there is the file that we're going to work with and it's pretty simple um, let's just have a look at the layers so we've got a whole bunch of layers in here we've got wood color we can use for the color channel some bump information um, one that i've kind of brightened right up for a speck or reflection then we've got this sticker that i've made as a separate layer to kind of apply over the top okay we can close that down we don't need to save it Let's come back into Cinema 4D. So let's just double click, create a new material, and I'm going to call this one Wood. And although we're going to use this bitmap for these different materials, the nice thing is that we're not going to create it all in one material because we want to have different properties on each material. And rather than using some convoluted method of lots of layers and masks, etc., we can just use multiple materials. So I'm going to set this to be Oranea and make it maybe a little bit rougher and for the color i'm going to click here and load in that wood psd file and there it is and you can see if we just drag and drop this onto our cube there is the result so just to make this a little bit sharper i'm going to select that material come to editor and let's set that to be say 2k so we get a nice sharp preview of our material now, of course, I don't want all this information in my color channel. So what we can do is we can come to our material, come to the color channel. And now we've got that Photoshop file loaded in here. We can click on this icon or on the big button to open up the settings for that shader. And you can see that we have this, this layer set parameter here. And if we click on this layer set, then it opens up a little floating window on the other window. And you can see here it's reading all of the layers from within that Photoshop document and we can use groups as well so if I had any layer groups they would appear as little folders and you can use those and you can then say okay I just actually want to use this layer this is the layer that I want to use and then you can just click OK and you can see that now it's saying it's using the layer wood color so that's pretty cool so if we just use our up arrow to come back let's switch to the basic tab and let's enable our bump channel we can come to bump now we've got that loaded in it's going to appear in our bitmaps menu here so we can choose wood we can open this up and again we can choose the layer set and for some reason it keeps opening it over there which is a bit annoying um, and we can choose the bump channel like so so now we have that bump map in the bump channel of course these are very similar but you might have them as slightly different and again we can do the same thing maybe for reflectance let's just delete that spec let's add in some Beckman let's come down to our layer color choose wood once again um, but what we want to do in here is come in and choose our spec layer so we've basically done the same thing three times just in different places but we've allowed one photoshop file to control three different channels of our material um, and you can see that obviously that is working um, Probably you'd want to come down and just enable a little bit of Fresnel on there so it's a bit more realistic, but we're not really worried about the realism of it. So let's just create another new material and we call this one the sticker. And we're going to do the same thing here, but for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to come to the color channel, load in that PSD once again, wood PSD. This time we're going to come to our layer set and pick the sticker. Click OK. Now, if we drag and drop this onto our cube, we can layer up our tags so that we can have our sticker as a separate layer. But of course, we've got all this black, so we need to load the alpha. So if we come to the material, switch the alpha channel so it's enabled. Let's use that wood PSD once again. 
open this up open up the layer set but this time what we're going to do is we're going to choose our sticker I'm going to choose layer alpha you can also choose layer masks and if there are any alpha channels within your PSD you can choose those for this we're just going to use the layer alpha so it's looking at any transparency within that layer making an alpha channel for us click OK and you can see that's what we get and now we have our sticker on our material as well and we've got two totally different materials so we can adjust the parameters for the wood totally independently from the sticker but we've kept everything in the same Photoshop file so it's nice and quick and nice and efficient.